what's the what's the mood be like around the camp today? The first day back, I suppose, ahead of a competitive international. Again, everyone's looking uh, fresh and sharp and really up for it. I think that we're, we feel as though we've got a real chance of qualifying for, for a tournament now and I think that the last campaigns give us real belief that we can go on and do it. You've obviously been involved in matches like these in the past in very difficult uh, venues in terms of travel and uh, weather conditions. What kind of things do the lads need to bear in mind in football time for Armenia? I think it'll be, it'll be hostile. Um, environment to play and definitely I think it'll be a difficult match for us it, it really will and um, I think that they'll have real good support for the for the home team and we know that if uh, if we're not um, quite at it we, we could get beat and we could um, we could get turned over so we know that if we've got to be right at it from the start and I think that if we if we play like we did in the last campaign I think we've definitely got a real chance of, of going there and, and getting off to a good start. Are we aiming for six points out of these first two games? I think so. I think it's. I think it's something that you have to aim for. Definitely, um, six points is is uh, is definitely something that we can achieve. We're capable of getting it. So, um, I think the key to this game as well is is going into it with the right mindset and and, and being prepared for for what's ahead of us. Really. Would you accept four though, Kevin? Um, I don't know. It's a difficult one. I think. I think we've got first and foremost. I think you've just got to concentrate on the first game, the Armenia game, and I think that we we can definitely go into that game and. Uh, we're capable of getting three points, definitely, and I think that we're going in to win it, and I think that's what will be in everyone's mindset come come Friday afternoon, evening time. When you think of the previous qualifiers and you've gone to places like that, Georgia, yeah. Albania, tough Yeah, tough. I mean, we had a start in Montenegro last time as well. You know, it, it's, it's, it's a tough game, tough tough start for us, I think. But um, as I say, we're capable, we're, co we're confident that we can go there and win the game, definitely. Well, yeah. managers will say it takes five, six, perhaps seven games for their players to reach peak 100% sharpness going into maybe mid yeah. September. So how do you and the players feel sharpness-wise going I think, yeah, it's very early in the season, definitely. And I think that sometimes you can be a little bit below, the, the, like you're saying, the peak fitness levels. But I think that <clears> um, everybody's coming in sharp. Everyone seems, you know, I think it's the ultimately because it's the start of a tournament and you're raring to go. And that's what, I think that's what's going to see us through, I think, come uh, Friday evening time. Maybe the advantage is the mental freshness is there, if not the match sharpness is there, so maybe yeah. less mistakes mentally and not kind of mental. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, that's what that's what that's what we'll be all um, trying to do, of course. Make no mistakes and um, and try and see the game through in in in, a, in the right manner. Kevin, just um, in your, your own form of all, I know you, you started the first three league matches and yeah. you came off to so when you're on the bench on Saturday. Is the manager just, just kind of being frugal in the way he used you because of your age or fitness? Yeah, or possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you want to play every game that um, that you're available for and obviously available for Saturday and it would have been in an ideal world you, you play the game. So, um, the saying, I've not spoke to the manager. The manager, um, he had his health scare on Friday evening, so that was the most important thing that he gets back himself back uh, fit and ready for the club really, yeah. Are you happy with your, your own form on you anyway? That yeah, I, I, to be fair, yeah, I, I think um, I think from a personal point of view, I feel as though I feel fit, I feel fresh. Um, I was just disappointed I didn't play Saturday, but it's as saying it's one of those things you've got to accept sometimes. Kimball wondered um, after the last campaign, would this be the last time we, we saw you? But was there ever any doubt in your own mind, or were you fully committed to come back? No, I, I did speak to a few people, I did, um, and basically they the advice that I was given from people in and around me at, at club level and, and other people that I'd spoken to, look, if the manager doesn't uh, doesn't pick you, then obviously he, he's going to retire you. So just stay around and and, uh, and see what happens. And if, if the manager is confident in you, he'll pick you. And that's ultimately what, what's happened again. I'm, I'm in the squad and that's what I'm just looking forward to the game Friday. And if he picks me for the, for the game, then We'll, we'll see. That, that's what that's the only thing that's in my mind. I want to be in and around this squad, and, and hopefully, I can have a, a bit of success in the next couple of years with us. You're a big family man, so like of this, a long week, you know, way a long trip to Armenia. Did mm. you discuss with the family and think, well, maybe I should start thinking about? Yeah, my wife's gone to Mallorca this week, so that that helps. <laughs> I think, yeah, you know, but no, um, I think yeah. I mean, it's of course the, the family issues there, and you want to you want to do your best by your family and things, but. Um, no one's put me under any pressure uh, from that side of it to say, look, you, you need to be finishing now and things like this, because um, everyone knows how much it means to me coming over and playing. Does it make you even hungrier for this campaign, perhaps knowing that, well, this yeah, might be the last one? Definitely. I think over the last couple of campaigns, it's definitely been like that, because you never know what is around the corner. You could get injured tomorrow and anything could happen. So I've been very, very fortunate with injuries and everything. So 
I just to take every ga every game as it comes, and and hopefully I'll be around to to see us through to a major tournament again. For okay, this match with Duffer not being here, do you think things could be? Shifting around option wise, is there a possibility you might step forward, or do you think you're still? Standing? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't see that to be honest with you. No, but I think it's a big blow for us losing Damien. I mean, I, I've seen it on the telly tape. The first that any of us had found out really. I think that Damien's um, he's probably one of our better players. He's one of our match winners, definitely on his day. So it's it's a, a real shame that we're going to miss him. Have you found all the years? players who were unsettled, or at least uh, the subject of transfer speculation? The next 24 hours, you've, you've had this before. Yeah. It's going to be a difficult time, isn't it? Next it 24? is, but I think once once it's out of the way, it'll be gone tomorrow, so then you can fully concentrate on the game. I'm sure that there'll be agents ringing the hotel this evening, there'll be there'll be phone calls made, so something could happen and something is likely to happen with at least one of the players. So once it's out of the way, come tomorrow, it'll be just be fully focused for the game then. But really. if a player has to go back and sign and then come back and join the squad, that's not ideal, is it? No, it's not. I mean, I had it the other year when I went to Wigan, so... Um, before the Germany game, it wasn't ideal, of course it isn't, and I think it, it probably unsettles more the manager side of it, I think, really, because he's not got everyone to, to see on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, I think the players the players know themselves now, I think that we do a lot of travelling, we know that, but if they've got to go back and they've got to sign, they've got to do what's best for them, really. Do you understand when it's players you played with for years and years and years, you know them as players and people like Robbie and Shea, you understand that they're not guys that will just sit on the bench and take their money, they want to be playing if Maybe elsewhere. I call everyone wants to play. That's right. I think that, that you you set out as as a young boy when you're starting playing football, and you you want to play football. That's what it all that's what it all comes down to. And when you you're on the sideline and you're not playing, it is frustrating. It's disappointing when you're not getting a, a regular game for, for club level. So um, I think if if options do come up for any player and it's a way, and you're going to get you're going to guarantee yourself first team football, you're going to take it. Have you spoken to uh, Robbie and Shay today about that? I don't know if, if they would. No, no, not really. No, to be honest with you, I, I, he wouldn't really want to as well. I think there's there's been a lot of speculation with a few of the players, so um, it's not something that we would really talk about. To be honest with you, no. Shay's too good a goalkeeper to be sitting on a bench, though, isn't he? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that definitely. I think he's 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 proved himself for for 15 years or whatever it's been at Newcastle, and certainly last season at Man City and. I think he, he can find himself very unfortunate that he's not starting the games this season, definitely. Just looking at the, the group, Kevin, um, is, do you think it's a tougher group? Because, you know, Russia, we all know, are quality so yeah. think, you know, Armenia, a bit of a dark horse, maybe, so I get a good, a good World Cup. Do you think this is possibly a, a tougher group than the, the one we had for the last uh, uh, of the World Cup? I don't know, probably at the start of it. I think that we felt, look, we got Bulgaria in there as well, and we knew that we'd been to Cyprus in the past as well, and that was a tricky one for us as well. So. Um, Whoever you're playing, it's, it'll be a tough game. I think I'd always say that, and I think everyone, everybody knows it is. There's no easy games, but um, I think that we feel confident off the back of the last campaign, and I think that's where we're probably at a higher level um, than than the start of the last campaign. Um, Kevin, just about the way Ireland started off the last campaign and they finished in the game in Paris, the different way they played. Would you like to see Ireland continuing? on the Paris performance. Is there any reason to go to uh, Armenia and play kind of like they did at the start of the campaign? I don't know. I, I, I think we probably grew as a team through the whole campaign. That's what it, that's what it came down to. I think that we were, we were quite low after the last but one campaign. It, um, obviously, Stan had gone from there then, really. We didn't know who was going to be taking over the manager. Then Giovanni tra Trapattoni came in and gave us a massive lift, lift as a team. So the start of that campaign, we were probably a little bit low. We needed lifting, and um, we started with a good win in, jo uh, in Germany against Georgia, and then we went on from there. We, we remained unbeaten through the campaign, so we did it, we did it right through the campaign. But I think that the way that we played in, in the France game, that we, we had to go at them. We had to because we were a goal down. So that's what we, the way that we had to play on the night. And would you like to continue playing like that? We'd like a performance like that every week or every game that we play, but I think sometimes it can't always be like that. You've got to you've got to try and play different ways, and you've got to try and beat teams in different manners because you can't always be um, the, the same way because you'd be going to an intimidating environment like we've got on on Friday, and it, it's not the same game. No two games are the same, so you have to play differently for for each one.